Warning, this show contains adult humor and occult ideas. Please abstain from magic if you are not healthy enough to participate in physical activities. Get out of bed and make a video now! <laughs> So later this month, I was planning on going to Necro Comic Con in New York City, the uh, event Voltaire, second annual one, so he just started doing this last year, and I thought it would be a pretty cool way to celebrate my birthday by going up there, but right now, it just looks like uh, I gotta focus all my money and effort on moving into the co-op. Anything that... Uh, I do, when I go to the events as Jackulus, then I'll make sure to uh, update it on Facebook and on the channel. Uh, right now it looks like we're just going to focus on getting towards filming in October as well. So I'll be in Toledo then. Um, and I, I've come across an event that looks promising as something I might go to. Uh, the Witch's Ball in Toledo. So it looks like I'll be going to that, and uh, apart from that, just Jaculus, uh, all the supplies that are coming in the mail. So, uh, yes, soon, sooner rather than later, um, I'll be all moved in, back in Grand Rapids, hopefully uh, working on a TV show there, and, uh, you know, I have some contacts in Chicago that do... Uh, uh, occult, radio, and other formats, so maybe we could get together a, uh, because I, I always wanted to do, like, a dinner theater thing, so maybe we could do an occult dinner experience where, you know, like, they use, like, the ritual, uh, stage space for rituals and stuff like that. That would be interesting. Uh, put the wand away. It's fun. It's fun to play with, point things, but I'm not really doing anything important right now, so... Well, this is kind of important, getting the channel together. Getting people interested in the occult in the Grand Rapids area, that, uh, like, people that are already interested, people that want to do more as, like, community and get together. Is what we're trying to do here. Maybon is a holiday, basically like Thanksgiving, where you uh, reflect upon the last year and say what you're, you know, thankful for, and then you uh, look into the future and especially the next year, what you want, what your anticipated goals are. And uh, for me, definitely the past year of uh, 2015 has been just such a marked improvement over 2014. Uh, I've been able to spend the time up here with family to, you know, recuperate uh, my health and my finances, even just the little bit that I've been able to, it has definitely made an improvement for me. And uh, so I'm definitely thankful for my family. And uh, this next year, what I'm looking forward to is uh, a, another huge leap in my uh, film career, hopefully. It'll start out with uh, filming here starting in October in Toledo. A uh, film called Post Human. I can uh, put some links in the description for you there. Uh, then from there, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do next, but um, there are, you know, bubblings up of, you know, things are starting to bubble up where I have started to put together a uh, musical or uh, other occult related uh, show showmen and performers in the Grand Rapids area, and uh, 
you know, working with uh, the co-op there also will give me good opportunities to meet more people and focus on just creating something, you know, even if it's like a grassroots type thing uh, for food and entertainment in the area. And apart from that, uh, there's a good chance I'll be working with a local TV station for at least a little while on a comedy show for them. I would like to see myself in five years having made uh, big steps towards making my own directing and acting and my own uh, feature films, hopefully filmed around this area. I've got some plans for like some screenplays that are going to be like major big budget productions so those will have to be shelved for a little while longer of course but you know they're not uh, they're just going to be on the back burner until I can strike up that kind of uh, interest in those projects so what you're going to see in the next year is obviously a change of location because uh, I won't be staying with my relatives uh, for very much longer now and uh, this is actually not a collection of my books but it was the only a visually interesting place I could shoot in front of my uncle's library so I may have tricked you but it was worth it, right? Okay, so my next uh, upcoming couple of weeks I should be able to just focus more on YouTube and uh, getting my hands on the script for the movie and this is just not really Jackulous talk this is interesting. but I still wanted to show you the costume and it's still visually interesting right so there you go as far as what's Jackulous doing next um, in Toledo there should be a Halloween party that I'll be able to attend and I'll put all the details towards that on Facebook and uh, like I said just putting together a Grand Rapids group um, I believe those are the two main things there are gonna create you know more visually interesting content uh, more visual more visually interesting what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? Concert? Contest? Content? Content. I got a wand. I got a wand. And that's fun. It's fun to just point. <laughs> Alright. Mary, Maybon, to you. Late, I know. But, uh, what can you do? Sometimes you just get busy with other stuff. Other dimensions. <laughs> You know, sometimes you get some so, so stuck on the, the interdimensional transit and, uh, you know, takes a couple weeks out of your schedule. Yeah, right. Ah, booby butts, and... Did you say happy, maybe one, or merry? I still don't know. Nobody seems to have arrived at a consensus to that. Do you say Happy Mavon or Merry Mavon? Nobody seems to know. But, the internet is not always a place where you can go to get the best information out there. That's why there are books. Uh, when we really start, hark. The herald flangels bling snorly to the bleed the slow. Uh um what I'm what I'm hoping to do unnecessarily long pause. <laughs>